Well, it's the end of an era, or at least almost, because in pretty much exactly six months, which is December 31st, 2020, we are going to reach the end of life of Adobe Flash, which used to be one of the most prolific, popular platforms, not really platform, but methods of embedding different types of interactive content on websites. But Adobe, three years ago in 2017, announced that they would be basically deprecating or removing support for Adobe Flash in favor of more open source and now popular methods of using interactive content on the web, such as HTML5, as well as CSS, JavaScript, which can now do pretty much everything that Adobe Flash can do, along with other technologies such as WebGL and WebAssembly. And actually, if you go onto Adobe's website, they literally just tell you, yeah, just uninstall Adobe Flash anymore. They recommend you uninstall it. And what will happen on the end of life date, on December 31st, all Adobe Flash content will just stop working because they built in this end of life into the Adobe Flash programs after they announced it. So after the end of this year, they will not have Adobe Flash available to download on their website at all, even as like for legacy stuff. And even if you do have a current version of Adobe Flash installed now, it will not work on any Adobe Flash content that happens to still be out there on the internet. And like I mentioned, you will probably not notice a single difference in your web browsing experience. Almost nothing uses Adobe Flash anymore because they did announce three years ago that this was going to happen and it was already on the decline. And actually, if you look at the Chromium stats on their website, this is the browser that Google Chrome is based off of, you can see that they actually have stats. And since 2015, there's been a 99% reduction in Adobe Flash impressions and a 97% reduction in daily activities using Flash. And I don't even think that's 100% up to date. And actually most web browsers have had Adobe Flash disabled for years by default, like Google Chrome, you might not have even realized, but if you go to a website that has Adobe Flash, typically it'll be blocked and you might see a little thing at the top right that allows you to enable it, but it's not like it's going to be actually showing anything and has in a while. So if you haven't noticed anything different since then, then you're not going to probably. Now you might be wondering if you do have Adobe Flash installed and you need to actually uninstall it and probably not actually. Most web browsers for a long time, for years, have just had Adobe Flash built into it even though it's disabled. So it's probably been a very, very long time since you've had to actually install Adobe Flash. Now you can check, there is a couple pages on Adobe's website where they have instructions on how you can uninstall Adobe Flash on Windows and Mac. I'll put those links in the description. It might show up on the uninstall page on your operating system. I'm not sure about that, but at least there is a tool on the Adobe website, they will actually remove it for you if you wanna be certain. But if you do not remember installing Adobe Flash, you probably don't have it at all. I can also mention a couple other things you might be wondering about, such as what about websites that do have really old Flash content, like Newgrounds, for example. That was a really old website, it's still around actually, but it still has a lot of old Flash content that was just never updated. It's popular stuff that was years ago, but the people who made it never updated it to HTML5. Well, in that case, for example, they actually created from the ground up a Flash player that can play old legacy stuff. So it's called the Newgrounds Flash Player. I think you can get it on their website, but that's probably only useful if you specifically really love the Newgrounds website and you wanna see all that old Flash content. You might also still be wondering what is replacing Adobe Flash or what has replaced it. And like I said, there's several technologies such as HTML5. This actually came out in 2008 initially, and then there was like a major update to it and it was kind of publicly released in 2014. So HTML5, supports a lot more stuff if you combine it with CSS and JavaScript. So it can pretty much do almost all the stuff that Adobe Flash can do or could do, and it's free, even though Adobe Flash was free, but it's all built into the web browsers and it's not proprietary and it's way more secure. The, one of the big problems with Adobe Flash was because it was separate software and you had to download it separately and hope that people kept it up to date, there was a lot of security flaws which made it very vulnerable and a lot of hackers would take advantage easily of Adobe Flash content. So it makes way more sense these days to have other technologies such as HTML5, JavaScript, CSS, that's just built into the web browser and has a lot less vulnerabilities. And if there is a vulnerability or something, then the web browser will be automatically updated like they are today. And then the user doesn't even have to think about it. It's all in the back end. They don't have to worry about keeping anything up to date. It's 
really a way better situation in pretty much every way. And kind of as a side fun fact, you might be interested to know that technically the Adobe Flash technology is not just disappearing and going away completely, it's kind of been rebranded as Adobe Animate. And apparently the technology that was used in Adobe Flash is still gonna be used by professionals and is still used in things like movies or other animations and cartoons and stuff that need to be able to use vector animations, they still use that. It's just not publicly posted on the internet. It's more just like a proprietary software like Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrate. It's now just Adobe Animate and it's more for isolated animations that need to be used elsewhere. And I'm not super familiar with all that, so I probably explain it in an extremely basic way, but if you're just sad that Adobe Flash is going away, just know that yes, it is still being used in other places, it's just not being used on the internet anymore because it's kind of pointless for it to be there. So yeah, if you do know you have Adobe Flash installed on your computer somewhere, just uninstall it. You're not gonna need it at all anymore. It's blocked pretty much everywhere and it's gonna be 100% useless after December 31st. And I mean, technically, if you really wanted to use Adobe Flash, you could maybe get like some bootleg version of it, but that would be a big security risk, but still there's always that option, I guess. But really the best situation would be if you do use a website or something that uses Adobe Flash still for some reason, just reach out to them and tell them, hey, you're really cutting it close. You had three years to deal with this and you're still using Adobe Flash. What are you doing? But hopefully those are few and far between. So let me know what you think. Are you sad that Adobe Flash is going away? It's kind of the end of an era, even though you probably have not used it in a long time without realizing it. If you guys want to keep watching, I have another recent update talking about the famous turtle emoji in Android that's actually coming back. If you didn't know about that, I'll put that link right there you can click on. So thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.